Hello, spiritual prayer warriors. God bless you. You know, I had an encounter with the Lord that I must share. In fact, it was a full-on vision that occurred last Sunday afternoon during our live stream. I haven't shared the vision yet, so this is it. I felt like the Lord wanted me to wait and just make sure the timing was right, that I understood it correctly before I released it. He does that on many occasions. And so I was preparing to go up onto the platform. It was during the worship service. It was getting toward the end. And suddenly, the Lord just took me into the Spirit. And this vision began. And it happened right in front of me. I went up after the worship was over. I stood there, ministered, preached with it right in front of me. I could see through it. Kind of like the heads-up display on my car. Uh, you know, it reflects your speed, your direction, various different things about uh, the automobile. And you can, it's kind of low, so you can see over it, but you can see right through that heads-up display to everything that's in front of you, where you're driving and the other cars, etc. And that's the way it was. And so for the entire sermon, I watched this vision play out in front of me, and I was looking through it at the people, finished all of the ministry that day. It stayed with me, and I felt that the Lord didn't want me to really share it until now. So here it is. I'm going to give it to you uh, because it will encourage your heart and let you know some of the things that's going on in the spiritual realm. This was a vision of an army of lions. Praise God. When this vision started, I could see the Lion of Judah. He was standing on the side of a hill. It was not a sharp, inclined mountain, but it was like there was a rolling hill, and then he was on an upper part, and then down below there were things happening. Then it began to just spread out into, like, farmland, and then it continued, and there were cities around. And as this ensued, I recognized it was the exact same vision, at least the same location, that I had before about the strong lion and the scraggly lion. And in that former vision, there was a scraggly lion that was on one of the lower elements, or rolls of the inclining hills. And he looked just scraggly. His hair was a mess. His mane was a little bit shorter. And he roared. And when he roared, he intended to scare everything was that was around him because he was on the hunt. But when he roared, then following that, I saw a large, strong lion standing up on a higher hill than him. And this lion roared. And man, when he roared, it was thunderous. And the scraggly lion, which represents Satan, seeking whom he may devour as a lion, heard the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus, roar. And then he became frightened, and he just kind of scurried off, looking for a hiding place. In this former vision, at that point, there was a rainbow glory cloud that just came and began to roll down the hill from Jesus. And it was just a mix of rainbow colors, the glory of the living God, authority and, and outpouring and all these things. And it went down and it rolled across all of the plains. And then it went into the cities and large cities, smaller towns, it hit farms and it hit communities. It just went everywhere. And when it went everywhere, symbolizing just a move of the Spirit of God, that it would come upon people, and those people who felt it, who responded to it, they they went, oh, because it kind of shocked them, oh, inhaled. And when they did, the glory cloud went right into them and changed them. And people were born again, filled with the Spirit of God, healed, miracles, all kinds of things that were happening. This was the same location. Only it changed. Sometimes the Lord does that to me. He'll give me extension and other chapters to add on to visions. Or he'll take me back through a vision. 
uh, to emphasize a different aspect of it, added on to that specific chapter. That's what this was. Here's the thing. It was the location. There was the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus, standing up on that upper rolling hill. And he roared. The scraggly lion wasn't in this aspect of it. When he roared, in the, in the roar itself were also the words, You have lost, we have won. Lord keeps doing that to me. As showing me, I hear those words, the authority. You have lost, we have won. But when he did, there appeared an innumerable amount of younger lions. They were everywhere. And they began to run. And they were following the path that the glory took in the prior vision. They were strong. They were healthy. They were ready. And it was, it was like this sense of awesomeness that came from him were just upon them. They had his DNA. He was the strong lion. They were the young lions. And as they began to run, I could tell these were the believers of God. I noticed around the young lions that there was the rainbow glory. But it was, uh, it was fainter. I could just see that it was there and that they were running with the glory. Inside of the young lions, the spirit of God and the light of God was there. It existed within them and they were running with it. The light on the inside, the spirit within, the glory of God upon. And they were running the exact same path that the glory took in the prior vision. As they were running, I could tell that some would split off as singles and go to a specific, like a farmhouse or another location where people were. It was all about God move upon people in America and upon the earth. Some of them would break off into couples. Others, there would be like three. And then others, there were larger groups. And the larger groups would run to a community or into cities. And they just begin to run down the streets following the exact same path as the rainbow glory. As they followed it, I could tell they were kind of like the enforcers. And they would roar at opposition. And the opposition would begin to crumble. The Spirit of God on the inside was leading them, the light, the Spirit within, was leading them, directing them. But the glory upon was empowering and commanding them. And they went everywhere. There was a harmonious working between the glory and the lions. And these lions were the believers that were going forth in faith using third heaven authority who were intercessors who were going into the world to preach the gospel who were binding and loosing who were doing all of this work for God and I could witness that it'd be like there was an opposition to the glory that would pop up in a around somebody, whether it was in a farmhouse or in, in a city, in an apartment. And there would be darkness there. And the lion would roar. And the darkness would begin to dissipate and crumble. They worked harmoniously with the glory of God. Praise God. So how do I unpack this, the meaning of it? Let me give you a few things that I could sense very strongly. The interpretation. First of all, up until last Sunday, the Lord had given me a lot of visions about the lion's army. This was a vision about the army of lions. What's the difference? 
Well, the lion's army was about authority, but it was about armor. The lion's army were people. And they appeared as people with the armor of God on. And everything that they were accomplishing for Jesus was as humans, born again, spirit-filled, believers, the authority, the power that we have in our lives. But in this one, this was not the lion's army, but this was an army of lions that came from the lion of Judah. In other words, they had his DNA. And by having the DNA, it's like they were of him, born of him, duplicates of him. Are we not believers, new creations in Christ Jesus? Do we not follow after him, him being the firstborn from the dead, raised, the firstborn of many brethren? So we follow it after him. And the Lord was emphasizing this because the lion's army was a lot about warfare and about victory and about the weapons we have and the armor we have and the things that we do. This one, with the army of lions, was about duplicating the new creation and who Jesus is that has been placed in us, duplicating that upon the face of the earth. There was a rich empowerment there was a knowledge, there was an understanding, there was an authority that was there. It was just dynamic. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. You have to spiritually discern what's going on. The glory of God was about the outpouring. But the lions was about the change. It was the change that they were effectively creating on the face of the earth. They were going after wickedness. They were going after that ruling political spirit of Jezebel and Antichrist on the far left and destroying and paralyzing. It was about change. It was about a reversal, a transformation. There were uh, things being exposed and then being judged and condemned and changed. There was a great sense of authority in the lion's power for change. It was dynamic and about revival on the face of the earth. Revival. It was in that the move of God and the rainbow, that glory was the outpouring. But there, the outpouring was directing and was commanding the lions, they worked harmoniously in sync. Praise God. When they roared, the opposition began to crumble. I can only tell you that this vision symbolizes to me the Lord Jesus Christ himself by the presence of the Spirit of God that we're on the right track that we are making the difference, that you as a lion in the lion's army, army of lions, we're all the same, just emphasis on different parts. You rise up in third heaven authority. You are the one who have the ability to bind what the enemy is doing, what Jezebel is doing, and Pharisee is doing, and Antichrist is doing, all this stuff disallowing it on the face of the earth, and also loosing, releasing the kingdom of heaven, his covenant provisions, and everything that he wants done. God is taking back America. God is taking back the nations. God is moving, and we are part of that plan, you. And so I want to encourage you, let you know, well done. You are making the difference, and we are going to contend in faith. We are going to operate in authority. We are going to pray. We are prophesy. We'll decree. And we will see the winning of this battle and this war. God bless you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that the anointing that is upon this Lord God, release it into their hearts. Release it into their lives now. 
in the name of Jesus. And while you're releasing the revelation and the anointing and the power, all that's contained in this vision and what they're what you're doing and touching their hearts, Lord, release it in their own individual lives as well as for the nation. Raise them up in health and well-being and prosperity and make supply their needs and save their kids and, and bring healing and comfort to their lives and their ministries and anointings. Bless them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And I thank you for it, Father. Praise God. Would you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already? And hey, how about our Facebook channel or Rumble channel, Instagram channel, Mike Thompson Ministries. You can find me on all of those. And visit our website. On our website, you'll see various things, helps. We're in the midst of 40-day Lion's Army fast. There is a downloadable um, daily prayer and Bible reading. Uh, we're in the midst of that right now. It'll finish on Palm Sunday, coming up on April 2nd. Uh, and while you're there, consider becoming a partner of the ministry. There is a secure donation page. And you can give into the anointing and the revelation on this ministry. In Jesus' blessed name. God bless you. He wants to get to get it fast. He needs settlement. Okay, amen. So uh, we just send blessing to solve that. Okay, day. right here. Stop. Right here. I saw a dream that I am in my house. A brother in Christ who knows me very well offers me apples. Some are tiny apples, and some are of good size, but all are red. I am cutting an offering to him and my family. Please tell me the interpretations. Oh, fruits and blessings, many blessings, many blessings. I love it. I love it. I love it. Many different sides of blessings and nourishment and gifts. I love it. I love it. I see that. I pray to God that the Holy Spirit counter everything that's trying to torment you in the name of Jesus Christ. I love it. More dreams, more dreams, more dreams. Tell them, say it in the language, Daniel. More dreams, more dreams. Write them out. Please, aap, apne dreams ke mein explain dreams. Uh, Christine, jo hai, prophet is jo hai, wo definitely usko, uh, translate karegi, interpretation karegi uski, aur wo share karegi. To Write aap, the vision please, uh, and make it वो आप बताएगी अपना वीएन जो है उसको आप लिखें ठीक है जो भी वीएन है ड्रीम है राइट करें उसको लिखें उसको लिखें प्लीज लिखे टाइप करें अपने वीएन को ड्रीम्स को टाइप करें आज आज परमेश्वर बड़े-बड़े काम करने वाला है आई बिलीव दैट गॉड इज गोइंग टू डू अमेजिंग थिंग्स और अब आज टाइप करें अपने वीएन को टाइप करें अपने ड्रीम्स को टाइप करें बराबर जरा बात जरा बात अगर परमेश्वर ने 